guys? Welcome back to Life.ATV. I got called. How's it going? Got the old man over there. Hey, everybody. And uh, we have a lot of new subscribers and we have uh, a lot of new machines, so we thought it'd be cool to do this video again of our sport quad collection. Here they are. Up here they all are. And we got a lot of brands here, and uh, from oldest to newest, we got them lined up. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go through each one and uh, tell you about it and stuff. Sound good, guys? All right, old man. Starting her off with the oldest one in the collection. Also, the only two stroke we got. Yep, this is a 1989, I believe it is. Suzuki LT250R. I uh, used to have a 87 back in the day and had to get another one, but I don't know. She needs a little work and yeah, this one's yeah, currently a work in process. Yeah. But, um, we'll get her going sometime. We uh, recently, you know, Dom was over. He took it over and he told us what was wrong with it. I don't remember what was wrong with it at the top of my head. But it's a little more money than we want than we're willing to spend at the moment, so So I mean, she's put on hold for now. Yeah, she's put on hold, yeah. but uh that one time <laughs> seems like forever ago that when she was running good, I mean she was yeah. a really fun machine. I mean she goes just as good as the other ones. It'd be kinda cool to get her uh running again. But yeah guys that's we'll our going, but just give us some time. This is our only two stroke in the collection, uh nineteen eighty nine Suzuki L T R two fifty. They look like they've been rolled though. Hey guys, this is my uh, 400 EX. I bought it brand new in 2001. Seen it many times in, on the uh, channel. South Dakota, yeah, you've seen it many times. You've probably heard about it many times, but. It's not a sport quad collection unless you have a 400 EX, right, buddy? Yep, she's been my old reliable. She's my go to quad. I uh, have nothing bad to say about this for really. She still runs perfect. Still runs perfect. She's a completely stock 400 EX. Yep, I've which... never, uh, never done anything special to it, or and never needed to. This is the but... quad we all learned how to ride. Uh, yeah, she's went through. On, so I mean, she went through a lot of kids. She's the quad that started it all here at Life at ATV. So yep, never been tipped over or nothing. Not that I know of. Not, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, she hasn't. But uh, yeah, she's been a good machine. My... But just for comparison, no, guys. Baby. These are the stock tires, old man's still running on it. Yeah, still got stock tires on the front. Hand-me-downs on the back. Danny's <laughs> Raptor hand-me-downs on the, the back. The stock tires on the Raptor, but yeah, guys, our Super Mint yep. 400EX. Good machine. All right, guys, so you guys should know this one. This one's been on the channel for many years, but it's actually changed hands quite a bit too. So I originally bought this 2006 Honda TRX 450 back in the 2015 range. And yeah, I, I pretty much blinged it out, you know, completely transformed it, made it nice and everything. And uh, I sold it to Cody, because Cody was having issues with his YFZ at the time. And Cody actually this whole last year rode it and stuff like that. And then until just recently, he got a new one and I bought it back. So yeah, she's still here, guys. Uh, she's got a stage two hot Can't cam. Can't get rid of something that runs so good. Yeah, she's a super fun machine. She's got a White Brothers full exhaust, 13 to one piston, a uh, bunch of Team Elba on it, new plastic, GBCXC Masters on Elba wheels. I mean, she looks really nice. Uh, I think she needs to come out a little more. Lately, we've been kinda, she's been kinda sitting in the shed, but yeah, guys. Our first 450 you're gonna see, our Honda. Now, let's go to the Suzuki. All right, boys, now for the best of the bunch, Suzuki LTR 450R. The boys gave me this machine because they love me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... And uh, they didn't think I could keep up, but uh, yeah, I've always been a Suzuki fan. Love Suzuki. And the LTR has been like good. Like Brian Brian. <laughs> love Suzuki. <Yeah. laughs> Nothing bad to say about this quad at all, man. It was, yeah. It is so fun. It's actually in really good shape. I mean, uh, what's all done this old man? She's pretty much just piped. That's it. I mean. Yeah, she's piped. I don't really know what else. I don't think the motor's ever been tampered with. She, I don't know. She rides so nice and she's so tight she's that. She's so tight. I feel like I'm tight. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, she's a good machine. All right, guys, now for the newest one that I just got. Uh, if you guys seen our last video, I just picked up this Can-Am DS450. I ended up getting rid of the Kawasaki we had at the time because uh, 
I don't know if you guys know this if I said it on the channel, but these guys definitely know. I've always wanted a DS450. I've always liked how they looked. And uh, yeah, I think I found a gem right here. This is the 2008 450 right here. And uh, yeah, she's been really fun so far. I mean, she's she, I think she's the lightest 450 I've ever rode. It seems really easy to pick up the front end to jump and stuff like that. And That's this fun. one, completely stock with uh, Moto Works pipe on the back. Uh, it appears to have really low hours on it for being a 2008. I don't think she's ever been messed with. I don't even think she's got 100 hours on it yet. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, just picked it up. So if you guys are interested, uh, stick, stick around and uh, she'll be on the channel for a long time. All right, guys, so you're probably thinking, this Danny guy, does he need three sport quads? And the answer is, fuck yeah. <laughs> But this is uh, my baby right here. This is old reliable. This is my 400EX to me. This is my 2017 Yamaha Raptor 700R SE. I got this brand new in 2017. First brand new quad I've ever had. And she's amazing, guys. Obviously, she sits up a little higher. She's way different than the 450s. But for a trail bike, uh, this thing's perfect. And uh, we got a base of pipe on it. And we have a GYTR intake on it so it's plenty fast for me she sounds good and uh yeah she's old reliable if we ever go anywhere that has kind of a rough trail this is kind of my go-to and yeah old reliable best for last code all right guys so a couple videos ago you guys know i just picked this up this is our brand new 2021 yfz 450 special edition the white and black I uh, really can't say a whole lot about it because I don't have a lot of seat time weed whacker she's a weed still breaking whacker. her in still breaking, still breaking her, her in, in. Uh, she's probably only gone through one tank of gas so I mean she's still extremely new uh, she's completely stock obviously but um yeah I've had it for a couple weeks <laughs> yeah, she's not maybe three weeks old at the most but uh so first impressions on it so far code pretty love good it. love it I mean I love the look of it man yeah, she's a beautiful bike. Like I said, guys, plenty of videos with this coming up. Uh, we just got it, and uh, really can't say much about it yet no, because, because uh, you know, I, just uh, got it. <laughs> I've only gone through one tank of gas so far, so I mean, you know, she. All right, guys. So that's our sport quad collection right here. How many machines we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven machines here. I think that's enough to make plenty of videos, you know, for yeah. so. <laughs> I know we did this video last year, but obviously there was a couple changes. More ad, we lost some, but we gained some. Yep. It's always yeah. changing. So, uh, guys, how about down in the comments, tell us which one's your favorite. See whose machine's favorite. And uh, also leave a like. We got kind of plans for a shootout, at least, for the 450s coming up. So uh, that's something to look forward to, ain't it? We pretty much rode them all. Yeah. It's just... Uh, the only ones we haven't really rode is the Outlaw and the uh, KTM. KTM. One of them being a unicorn, but you never know, guys. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later.